Right, we're up here at Daviot at Ben's Architectural Salvage Yard and lo and behold he's got a Volvo so Ben's going to tell us a wee bit about it sounds good how's that cool wee thing? superb so I think you'll agree guys that that Volvo is a cracking wee car so before we see more of it we'll have a wee look round Ben's yard and while we're looking round Ben's yard I'll give you a wee bit of an intro to it because I messed up the recording of Ben doing it so this is a Volvo and it's a 1963 L3314 and it's got a 1.8 petrol engine which I think you'll hear is lovely sounding me engine in it all steel construction um, beautiful beautiful quirky wee car and uh, I think it's one that should deserves deserves a good wee look around and also the yard so we'll finish with more of the yard at the end of the video but have a wee look at this and hopefully we'll manage to find some other curiosities for you to really watch anyway. on their videos cheers um, guys so we made that fake plastic one instead <laughs> you know, the rapier's in the shed there oh it's good yeah yeah i'll need you i hit the button and it stopped <laughs> so yeah here we are control center hi and hang on for dear life and we've got we've even got the gun turret yeah i'll show you something else nice just let me lean in there that's the original timetable from the last time it was used as a a military bus. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, 1968. It's a bit history. 69. So I'll stop the video here because I was looking at this, these figures and these times and I thought, that's a bit odd. All these journeys are only 10 minutes long. I was thinking, why? Why? That's a very, very short place. So I googled the places in Sweden and it turns out that this isn't the bus timetable, this is the ferry timetable. So obviously it was a wee reminder for the bus driver so that they knew when they had to be at the terminal. So it's uh, another wee bit of history. I spoke to Ben about this, so he's quite glad to get that update and a wee bit more information about his, his truck. Hi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so where was it based? Uh, I don't know is the answer. I bought it from a boy who imported it from, he imported it direct a number of years ago and it, it lived in Fife for a while. Ah. I'll open this door for you. It's a handy little thing actually. You know, you can get a bit yeah. of stuff in it. That it'd make a nice camper if you could get around the roof. Aye, yeah, yeah, aye, it's a good spacious motor. Yeah. Aye, that is good. Aye. Great fun. No, it's, oh, it's always great having these wee things. Wee aye. toys to, to distract you. Well, to distract you, that's they do it, that. Right? Yeah. It's actually, we had two of them, the same guy I bought a, oh. one in, he said it was a, a parts vehicle but it was too good for that. Ah. And that lives somewhere local, the boy's turning it into a trials truck. But I don't know how far he's got. Yeah, I can the imagine it would be, I'll do the job I suppose, but oh. the articulation won't be too great, I can't imagine. No. No, it's a lovely thing. Absolutely the only thing fantastic. we've done, we've put a, a remote server on the brakes because mm. the brakes were, you know, it's a tiny little drum, they were woefully inadequate. Aye, yeah. So we've put that on and... Oh, I can see it there. It'll lift the back end now. <laughs> it'll... Uh, yeah. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise the first time because the back wheels were a foot off the ground. <laughs> Aye. I thought it was going through the screen. That was superb. Yeah. Well, better safe than sorry, I yeah. suppose, eh? And you can see we don't wash it for the authentic look. No, well, you don't. It, <laughs> it suits it. I mean, it, it's Absolutely. And it, it disappears into undergrowth. Yeah. The way it should do. But no, that's great. Great in summer, though, with windscreen out. And, you uh -huh. know, it's, it's superb. Grateful. Oh, it's the windscreen. Is that unbolted? Or does it Aye, fold Well, it, it, it hinges from the top, Aye. so you can have it fully open. Right. Or you can take it take off. Take it out completely. Aye. <laughs> but you get hell of... Well, you'll know yourself, oh, you get a through breeze, it takes hats and teeth and all sorts. <laughs> uh, well, that's bright. Yeah. So that was fun. great. Excellent. Good. So, thanks, Ben. No bother. Any that, time. That was good. <laughs> and, uh, well, maybe have a wee wander around. Aye. And see the yard. Yeah, no right. bother. Cheers.
as you'll see, Ben's got quite a lot of stuff here. Yeah, they get toad stools. Doorbell. Dog that doesn't need feeding. Cock troll will not wake you up in the morning. Somebody's already shot the deer. Chimney pots. More rollers. Fireplace. Unfortunately it's sold. Somebody's obviously got it for their project. And then we've got plenty of sheds here as well, lots of things. Telephones. Moped scooters. Some bells. Look at this. Thank you, Richie. Big box of Memorial China. Cheers galore. Template Zeppelin. Wally Dogs. Even the aircraft carrier. Water pan, bed warmer, no pill and puppet, puppet. Oh, there we go. Get that from my system though. Weasel, is it? Wildcat. Deceased. Oh. I think that one was deceased. They're in brig obligatory matchbox cars. Copper plate warmer.
of your stuff. Telescope. Fairground bike, or hat, motorcycle fuel tank, lovely RAC sign. As you can see, there's so much here at the Antiques and Architectural Salvage Yards at Daviot. It's well worth the visit. Just south of Inverness and definitely, definitely worthwhile looking. I'll put the link to their Facebook page in the co in below, in the text yeah. below, and feel free to pop up or give Ben a call. I think they're open every day of the week, and but always, if you're travelling from a distance, give them a ring and double check and make sure that he's, he's about and they're open. But I'm sure, sure they will, but you're guaranteed to find something there that you're after. Some curiosity or long lost replacement for whatever you've had so I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll carry on with some of the the views round the round the yard and round the sheds so catch you next time Young and thanks guys Young and Saunders Merchants Edinburgh and Stirling Bags. Shed number three. Well, I'm going to be getting that for Dave. What do you think? So there's a quite a subtle plant pedestal. Sailing yacht. Fur coats. Haven't found any knickers yet. Oh. In the boxes. Grandfather clocks. Oh, nice wee press. More hats, Craig. Or be trained to it. More dead things. This window. So Harry Loader, there we go.
So there you go. Well worth a visit. And you haven't seen half the stuff that's here. Lamp posts, wheels, you name it. If you get a chance, if you're up here, pop in and see Ben's architectural yard up at Daviot. Well worth a look. <laughs>